Glory to Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters. The Gospel for this 13th Sunday after Pentecost, Matthew chapter 21, verses 33 to 42, speaks about the parable of the tenants. The landowner leases his vineyard to tenants, and he leaves. When vintage time draws near, he sends his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized, beat, stone, and killed the servants. Finally, he sent his son, but they killed him as well. The conclusion of the parable is that the landowner kills the wretched tenants and leases the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper time. The killing of the son who was sent as an extreme attempt by the owner to get the fruits of the farm is the key to the parable. Jesus intended to foretell his own tragic end, portraying his own destiny in the son who was killed. Sent by God as the last and definitive possibility of salvation for Israel, he is rejected and condemned to death by the unbelieving people. He is a Messiah of death. But central is no longer Jesus' death, but his resurrection. God glorified in the resurrection that Jesus, whom the Jews rejected and put to death. The church appears as the new people of God, called to a concrete fidelity. Thus the Christian community finds its essential characteristic in being the new people of God, committed to a new life, fruitful with the fruit of fidelity and conversion. The example of unfruitful Israel is put toward as a warning. We try to bear the fruits of love because if we are sterile, we can end up like Israel itself.